This is going to deal with, um, so, with gases instead. So I'll flip to the PowerPoint so I can draw it out. Okay, so the question says, so a mixture of 7.3 grams of methane and 7.3 grams of xenon is placed in a container and the total pressure is 0 0.46 atmospheres. What is the partial pressure of each? Um, so as I had said before, the first thing that you're going to want to do is to start converting your numbers into moles. So if we have 7.3 grams of CH4, converting it to moles using its molar mass, which is 16.04 grams per mole, will give you 0 0.46 moles of CH4. Then for 7.3 grams of xenon, its molar mass, it's just one element, so you can just look that up on the periodic table quickly, is 131.29 grams per mole, which gives you 0 0.055 moles of xenon. Okay, so now we need to figure out how to convert moles into pressures. Um, so the way to do that is by using the mole fraction um, formula. So I'm just going to just divide this over here. Um, so the mole fraction is, or the mole ratio, so you're going to, if we want to find the mole fraction of methane, we need to multiply the mole fraction of methane over the mole fraction of methane and the mole fraction of xenon. So to do this, it would be 0 0.46, because we already calculated the moles, times 0 0.46 times 0 0.055 which gives us 0 0.89. So then we're going to do the same thing for xenon. So the mole fraction of xenon over the mole fraction of methane times the mole fraction of xenon. So doing that, we have 0 0.055. Divide that by 0 0.46 times 0 0.055 which gives 0 0.11. Um, so your mole fraction should add up to a, uh, to 1. That means that you, you've accounted for all of the moles properly. So now we are going to use that to figure out our partial pressures of each. So it already gave us the total pressure in the question. So using this formula, so the partial pressure of methane is going to equal the mole fraction of methane times the total pressure. So that is going to be 0 0.89, which we just calculated, and our total pressure is 0 0.46 atmospheres. So this gives you 0 0.41 atmospheres is your partial pressure of methane, and then doing the same for xenon, using the mole fraction of xenon times the total pressure. Uh, so that we calculated to be 0 0.11, which is unitless, because it is just a fraction. Um, and then our total pressure is 0 0.46 atmospheres. So the partial pressure of xenon in this case is 0 0.05 atmospheres. So your partial pressure should add up to give you the total pressure. So it's a good way to double check your work.